Hello my darlings, welcome, I hope everyone is doing wonderful, another amazing adventure today. Jesus is the reason for this season. The real spirit of Christmas is giving, loving, caring and serving, just as our loving Father in Heaven has provided to us. Let each of us hold dear these values to our hearts and use this season as an opportunity to give blessings to others and to share the love of Christ with our friends and family. So, with that being said, what a beautiful challenge! Hosted by my amazing friend, creating it myself, La Parsha. If you haven't visited her channel, please do so. She's creating beautiful home decor. Here is some latest creations that she made. Amazing. Along with the amazing playlist with my super talented uh, creators, friends. And you're going to see so much inspiration for this coming Christmas that it's going to make you to create yourself. Let's start my creations. DIY number one. Place that Jesus was born ancient Nazareth, Beth Bethlehem and some say that he was born in some kind of barn so I got this uh, old vintage watch from thrift store and I'm gonna make me a house where Jesus was born after I remove the clock in the middle I'm painting it with a white Beverly chalk paint all over just like so there is some roosters on the bottom if you can see typical barn farm bar just like that I'm painting it all over I left the middle blank because you're gonna see what I'm gonna do next with it covering the windows all over the fence the sides the chimney everything just like that. One piece wooden plaque from Dollar Tree, also painted with white, and uh, six mini wood blocks from Dollar Tree as well, painted as white. When all that is dry, I'm gonna connect the plaque with the blocks. Out of the three blocks on each side, I'm making a handles, just like that. And when all that is done and dry, I'm using one of those pine reads from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna fill that blank square in our barn just like that just gonna grab a hot glue and I'm gonna glue it next we're gonna airbrush it with a white uh, Waverly chalk paint all over so we can make it like a frosty look just like so and now I got those uh, stickers cross stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna put one of the crosses on top of the barn just like that I have removed that clear looking stone and I painted white as well and I'm gonna glue it back to the cross. Baby wipe and a wood wax going all over the barn, on the sides, on the roof, so we can get that vintage rustic look. Just going deeply first and then I'm gonna wipe it off just to, so we can have just a touch of the rustic look. I'm adding the whole nativity scene with the baby Jesus, his mother Mary, Saint Joseph, apostles, shepherds, sheep, anything you like. And that's it for that DIY. DIY number two. Star of Bethlehem, also called as a Christmas star. Nothing without a Christmas star. So I got this star wreath from Dollar Tree and a pine wreath 
and we're gonna make a nice beautiful traditional Christmas wreath super easy I'm just going all over the wires with that wreath as you can see I'm not putting anything because that wreath is having a wire inside itself so I think I used three four of them four pieces of pine wreaths super simple and easy when all that is done air dry brush it with a white waverly just to get that frosty look just like that and when our star is done i'm using one of those wooden crosses from dollar tree i'm putting one of those stickers so we can get some details in our cross just like that cutting the stickers at the edges and when all that is done I'm using a truffle Waverly chalk paint folk art metallic pure gold paint going all over the stickers so we can get that texture in our cross just like that and one of those golden markers from Dollar Tree, I'm painting the edges, going all over it, just like that. That's it. I glued the cross in my star wreath, added some berries, and my star is done. Nothing without a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen and how to finish this challenge without a prayer so i'm gonna create a nice praise sign i removed that blessed um piece out of this uh, wooden frame and I'm gonna paint the back of that with a white Waverly chalk paint after I clean it up I'm painting it and when all that is dry I'm making two lines so we can make that antique vintage look I'm measuring I'm making the lines with a marker and now I'm gonna paint it with a truffle Waverly paint in a teeny brush all over just like that and when all that is dry I'm gonna just send it out and that's it I put that back I'm gonna cover that sign on the end and I'm gonna put one of those stickers wall stickers from Dollar Tree I decided to use that pray sticker just to remind everybody just to pray and I'm adding those wooden stars also purchased from Dollar Tree I'm putting one on the corners and I'm thinking should I add some greeneries but it, I decided to leave it plain I covered the back as well and that's it with our pray sign and here is the final reveal for my reason for this season and I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? Let me know. Here is the whole nativity set. I also covered the handles on the bottom with a pine wreath a little bit so we can get that beautiful outside frosted scenery and with the animals and the shepherds and the apostles and the angels, Mary, Joseph, and of course baby Jesus here is the beautiful cross on top of the barn here is my beautiful prey sign simple but beautiful farm looking and here is my beautiful star of Bethlehem with a beautiful cross And let me know what do you think. La Parsha, thank you for this amazing collab. 
I had so much fun creating this and guys after you're done watching my videos link in the description box with Laparsha's channel and my amazing creator friends and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have so much inspiration for our beautiful Christmas and until next time I'm sending you lots of love lots of music positive energy from me to you bye bye